Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to draw trees in Google SketchUp. Now, instead of doing uh, kind of like a stick with a great big green pyramid on top, I'm actually going to bring a photorealistic tree into SketchUp and have it react like one of those constantly facing the camera components. So the first thing to do, download an image of a tree. And this is the image that I've chosen. And you'll see that it's got a totally white background. And this is actually very common for trees if you do like a, an image search for trees online. You want to pick one that's got a fairly uniform background, although you can easily delete the background if you need to. So first things first, I'm going to open up Photoshop. And we're going to bring that tree in. And the reason I'm using Photoshop is I'm actually going to create an alpha layer on this, or an alpha channel. And that will allow the tree to appear transparent inside of Google, uh, Google SketchUp. So magic wand tool will select all of the white background. But this is actually going to say we want the white background visible and the tree invisible. So we're going to say select invert. And now we want to come over to the channels tab here and select new channel. And this will automatically create the alpha channel for us. To get this to look correctly, we're going to say edit fill, and underneath contents, instead of uh, foreground color or anything like that, we're going to say white. Say OK. And so now our tree will be totally visible and the background will be completely gone. And last, last thing to do is to save the image. So file, save as. I'm going to save this right into my pictures. And we want to save it as a TIFF. And the reason is that the TIFF will give us access to the alpha channel that we just created. So we'll say save. I'm not going to choose any compression or anything. We'll just say OK. And now we'll close Photoshop. Back inside Google SketchUp, we'll say file, import. And we're going to go into our pictures to find that tree. And we can select the, uh, the TIFF from the file types. And there's our tree right there, so we'll open that. And we've got a tree, but it's not really standing exactly straight. So we'll just kind of plop it onto the ground for a moment. And you can scale it up. So that's a good size. Select the Move tool. And if you come over to the side, it'll give you, it should give you an option to scale it, uh, to rotate it, excuse me. So that's not quite the option that we were hoping for. We want to go along the side so that when we have the rotation axis pop up, it's kind of along the side of the tree instead of along the bottom of the tree. So right there is pretty good. And we'll get this vertical. And now you'll see that the tree is kind of going underground. So again, select the far corner of the tree and just bring it up to the, to the access point. So it's now totally vertical. And the very last thing to do is to get this to always face the camera. So right click on the tree and say explode. And then come up with the, uh, with the tree selected, so you see all those little dots in the background. Say Edit, Make Component. And we want to select Always Face Camera and set the component axis. And this will, this will, we want to be in the middle instead of on the corner. Because when we rotate around the tree, we want it to rotate from the middle. So as the camera goes around the tree, basically what this means is it's going to rotate the picture to always face the camera. If you set it on the corner where it defaults to, the tree is going to kind of act like a door as you move around it instead of rotating from the middle. So we're just going to go right to the midpoint and double click. And we'll say create. And now as you rotate around, the tree is always facing the camera. And this works great with shrubbery and brush and stuff like that. So you can place it around your house and actually have it look photorealistic next to your house. And it works really great in 3D. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to make a tree in Google SketchUp. I'm Josiah Ray.